Hey guys, what's happening? Brian Prey here. Just wanted to show you how you can create some killer capture pages for mobile devices like iPhones, iPads, uh, other smartphones, other tablets, all using a Weber Forms. It's pretty neat stuff. What you see in the middle here is a shot of a form that I put together. And it goes out on platforms like AdMob or AdPhonic, other mobile advertising platforms as well. These are the little ads that you see pop up on your smartphones. One thing I got to warn you about though, mobile advertising platforms don't like income opportunities. They're not going to let you promote something where you're capturing a lead and sending them right to an opportunity. However, they don't seem to mind selling affiliate products. So you can capture a lead, send them to an affiliate page, or if you are promoting an income opportunity, this can still work for you. You just need to make sure that you've got a giveaway, like an ebook or an audio that you present them upon filling out your form. Then you can present the opportunity to your subscriber in future follow-up messages. If you want to take a look on your device at the form that I created, go to createcashlightclockwork.com forward slash empower forward slash mobile and you'll see what it looks like in action. But let me show you how I got here. All right, so now we're in AWeber, and what you want to do, once you sign into your AWeber account, you want to make sure that you go into the correct list that you want to create your web form for. Go over to Web Forms, and right now we're going to create a new web form. You've got, if you've never done this before, there are a ton of options that you can choose from, um, a whole bunch of pre-populated templates. Um, I'm just going to go over here to show more. Um, I kind of like using things that are in the money field, and... Um, as you scroll through this is one that I've I've used before but I'm going to go back over here I really like the look and feel of the way that this one looks um, comes in a few different colors you can all depend on the the color scheme that you like the best I like the way this one looks so I'm gonna go ahead and load that template I want to edit the header I'm gonna add some text in here um, in notepad I just created some text and make it a little bit easier for me to input there um, how to turn a $25 investment into 275 to 625 per day in cash deposits direct to you and I am just going to play around with the formatting just a little bit here and maybe put a little bit of underline in as well okay so let's go ahead and save that so here's the form I'm not really looking to have the email privacy statement on here don't need the powered by by AWeber, um, but I like the graphic at the bottom. So this is pretty much the form that I'm going to go with, and I want to have this basically become the web page on the mobile device. So I'm just going to step through the process. I'm going to save the web form, go to the next, um, click on the settings. So over here in the settings, I'm going to give my um, my form a name. I'm going to call it Empower Mobile 1 because I've already got mobile set up. Um, the thank you page, I'm not going to use a thank you page here. What I want to do is I want to send them to a custom page and what I'm going to send them to is I'm going to send them to the 23 minute video for Empower Network. So once they opt in they go right over to the 23 minute video, they can watch that and from there it's going to give them the opportunity to uh, to log in and purchase. We don't need to do anything with the subscribe page. We're going to save the form and we're going to go over to step three which is publish. And what you want to click on is you want to click on I will install, install my form and we're going to select the raw HTML version. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click in the body here keep it exactly as is, include the beautiful forms and you're just going to copy that. Now what you need to do is you need to go and you need to use an HTML editor. What I use is I use Adobe Dreamweaver 
Um, it's an expensive program, and if you're not doing a lot of, of HTML, it's probably not worth it for you. Now, there are some free HTML editors out there that work very similarly to this. Um, I don't know the names off the top of my head. Um, I will take a look, and, and I'll, I'll put a link to... Uh, to it um, beneath this video and uh, but it, it'll work very similarly so as I come over to Adobe Dreamweaver what I'm going to do is I want to create a new um, blank HTML page and Adobe as well as other HTML editors will often add a whole bunch of other stuff that that you really don't necessarily need um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to delete everything after the first line. So the first line that gives you the doc type HTML public and all that stuff, you can leave. And what, what I'm going to do on line two over here is I'm going to paste that code from Adobe, I mean from uh, Aweber. And if I put that out here, you can see in the bottom here what it's going to look like. Everything came over, and that's all pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now we're not done but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna save this and I've been playing around with a couple other tests that you see in there but I'll call this one test 3 and I'll save this as test 3 and what so I'm gonna do is I'm going to publish this up to the website I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna go over here enter the URL and see what it looks like and it doesn't look like the greatest page here, but if we come over here, and I like using this feature called testiphone.com. Uh, if you ever want to see what a, a website's going to look like on a mobile device, this is an older iPhone, um, but you can come in and you can copy and paste right in here, and it's going to pull it up. And you can see how it looks much nicer on the screen, but there's still a little tweaking that we can do to it um, to make it look a little bit nicer. One of the things that we're definitely going to need to do, and I will give you the code on this, we're going to go back into the HTML, and right after that first line, we need to enter a line of text that's going to basically tell the web page that we're working off of the device width. Um, there's a whole bunch of text. I'll give you the full thing here. Basically, we're entering this meta name of viewport. Um, we're not allowing it to be scalable and we're using the device width so we're going to pop that in there and what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to change a couple things now on about I think it's row 26 mm -hmm. we are going to come over here Here we go. We want to change the form width from 255 pixels to 100%. Save that just so every step of the way you can see what's going on here. Actually, my apologies, we're going to change that to 98%. We're also going to go and on about row 36 or 37 here where we've got the input text we need to add a little bit of code where we're going to add a height requirement so it equals 30 pixels and what that's going to do is that's just going to increase the height of the form the 30, you got to keep in mind that people are going to be typing this stuff in with their fingers. So having a little bit bigger area to work on works better for you. So now you've got a perfectly optimized 
web video for you. And here's why you wouldn't want to send this out as this page. You can see how big, wide, and ugly it is. You're never going to send this out to somebody as this, only here to their mobile phone. Okay, so one thing that we can add to this, it's a pretty cool looking capture page now, and you're probably going to get some conversions with this. However, as you know, there's one thing that's going to skyrocket your conversions, and that's going to be to add video to this site. Video is king when it comes to internet sales and lead capture. It's not as hard as it sounds to add video to this, and we're going to end up utilizing YouTube for that. It's pretty cool. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to YouTube, go to the video that you're selecting, you want to come down to the share, you're going to embed this, and we don't want to embed a large one because remember people are viewing this on their mobile devices, but we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and you can select somewhere around 200 pixels wide, that's going to be a good width for this to come in. And once you've got that set, you're going to come up here and you're going to copy the code, the iframe code there. We're going to go back into the HTML editor and somewhere around line 64 or so you're going to look for AF body, AF standards. And what you want to enter is you want to enter an open caret center because we want to center this. We're going to paste the code that we just put in and we're going to close the center of it. And as I click down here you can see it's added the box for that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to throw this up onto the website. Let's go back over here to the phone tester and let's see what it looks like now. Now all of a sudden I've got YouTube video right in my capture page. Right. So if I come out here somebody clicks on it Boom. All of a sudden, they're going to get Imagine. video. Oh, let me keep that on there. Imagine a financial opportunity for everyone and anyone. And folks, this works. This is going to convert for you. It's super cool, super kind of high-tech ninja stuff. Um, but now what you need to do is... And, and I'll teach you this in the next step is what to do with this once you've got a mobile optimized page. How to get people to click on this. How to get people um, on their smartphones to utilize this.